The Law of the Land artwork will be a possum skin cloak figure, as if someone is standing within the cloak. It'll be 2.4 metres high, made from cast steel and cast iron, and it's representing Aboriginal knowledge and the ancestors and creation and the law of the land. And the possum skin cloak is a significant cultural item, and whilst it's a vessel, it's, it's kind of empty, there's no visually, no real body inside, it's embodying that spirit of country and place and the ancestors. This whole project fills me with pride because um, I've been a long-term staff member at RMIT. I've been engaged with the new academic street development right from its inception. And we wanted to do more than just build a building, but to, to build a building that had presence. This Indigenous artwork, which is being installed in the area of the new academic street here at RMIT, is a fantastic opportunity for RMIT to build its presence and engagement with the Aboriginal community and to bring together staff and students in a really exciting place. This is the first time that we've been able to have a discussion and, and then a representation of sovereignty at RMIT to see a better future between Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people and all others. I'm really excited to see how people will engage with it, even if the intention is just to make an inquiry of itself. The concept is an inclusive concept. It's not a particular story from my country, which is Gunditjmara country, or the Kulin country that we're on. It's representative of Aboriginal knowledge and law and the, the ever presence of our place as First Peoples in this country. So it's representing place in country and that belonging and our status as a First Nations people. What was really enriching in this project is that we had several collaborators work with us and several stakeholders and uh, managing each of their views and opinions about the process was highly important. So we had the opportunity to work with Indigenous senior members within the university and to be guided by their insights into their cultural background. So there was a group of Indigenous students that were involved in the initial project development. I organised and facilitated a, a workshop for these students. Um, they were given the opportunity to share their ideas and feedback on what they would like to see for a permanent Indigenous public artwork at the university. And their feedback has been embedded into the project brief. Around 20 artists were formed into a list that were selected down to five after consultation with the advisory committee and those artists were invited to present a concept proposal in response to the project brief where one artist was selected. I'm hoping the presence of the work will be evocative and emotive. The viewer standing there not knowing anything about it will be motivated enough to try to understand what they're feeling because I'm wanting them to feel a sense of the spiritual, a sense of Aboriginal place and people and connecting to that feeling. We have a memory imprint which is like a shadow that will be representing Bunjil, the great creator spirit who watches over the country and make sure, you know, that things are okay or he might do something about it. I believe the artwork will encourage us to, to stop, to reflect, to think about its message and to take that reflection with us as we progress with the daily activities that we do. It's also nice to think that we do have the creator inside the cloak itself, watching over what's happening in the street or into the buildings, and that can also be depicted in, in the way that we like to look over the people of our community in here. We like to care about them, we like to care about our students and our staff, and, and how Bunjil is depicted within that cloak is another sign of, of that, um, I suppose, traditional knowledge. The diversity of the RMIT community and what we all hope to have as a shared future becomes really an interesting aspect of the artwork itself because its, its role and its brief was centrally to give people the opportunity to question their own place. It celebrates diversity by privileging the obvious, which is 
What are we all founded on? We're all founded on Wurundjeri land. We're all founded on Kulin Nations land. It'll start to open up a, a more honest conversation about place and where we belong as Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, but where we're going to as, as Australian people. So I'm expecting there to be responses. It's not something that will be and just walk past and ignore. That's our aim is to create uh, an impact and to engage people and to get them thinking.